How is everybody doing today? It's Nick from Final Cut Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Unknown. Alright, so last episode ended on a, a very positive note, in my opinion. Um, one of our soldiers shot their uh, rocket launcher wide and ended up blowing up one of our soldiers. While that's not a good thing, it made me laugh at least, so I mean, there is a silver lining. Uh, here we are. Uh, we're just going to hop right back into regular gameplay. There's no real plans for this episode. I do need to say though that this uh, this series is really going to become uh, our bread and butter going forward because Subnautica currently isn't working for me. It's um every time I start the game it crashes. Uh, more details in the uh, update video that I uploaded yesterday. So we're not here to play Subnautica though. We're talking about Subnautica. We are here to play XCOM. So let's hop right in and get started. In three days, we'll have an access slip built. Four days, we'll get a report from the council, see how we're doing. In eight days, we'll get carapace armor research. And in another eight days, we'll have a foundry built. Let's scan for activity. Okay, we have an access slip. Perfect. And in probably very soon, we're going to get a council report. Yep, council report's in. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this Council makes lightly. That's awesome! Fantastic! Um, we got an A overall, and we did a lot of really great things, and the Council's happy with us, so... Perfect! This is a really good boosting we point. We will be in touch, Commander. Right, scan for activity. Let's go. Okay, so this is a small scout. Scramble interceptors. Let's go! Now I really just have to lead the game up to it. I have no real control over this minigame except to basically click. Come on, hit. There we go. Okay, we've successfully shot down uh, our second UFO crash so far of this game, of this playthrough. Alright, before we do that, I'm going to turn off notifications on Steam. I just saw that they're still coming up, so one moment, please. Okay, there we go. I just turned off uh, notifications so we could avoid that. Alright, so we're going to send a Sky Ranger to get this crash site down in near Louisiana, I think that was. Okay, so let's see who we're going to bring... These crash sites tend to be where they introduce new aliens, so I'm not sure I want to bring any rookies with me. This team looks to be um, good enough. Okay, you. Edit unit. I think our um, other big heavy is still injured from last time, so let's just not... Okay, that is already equipped. I don't know why I keep selecting it. Uh, you're going to get a nanofiber vest. And hmm, you are a salt woman. Going to get how about an arc thrower? Cause yeah, they're the ones who get up close and personal. So yeah, this looks like a good loadout. Mm, do I want two snipers though? No, I don't. Yep, our big guy. Uh, our big guy's down. No, I don't. Well, I guess I'm going to take a rookie because I really don't want to. I don't, I don't want to have two snipers. That'll just be cumbersome. Martha Wagner, you're coming with us. And let's see. What can I give you? Because you're a rookie, let's protect you with a nano fiber vest and launch mission. Let's go. Jumping right into the action. Fast, begin assault. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Okay. Operation Soaring Fear. Uh, yeah, my computer fan just decided to uh, go all AWOL on me, so I apologize for that in advance. And touchdown. Okay, we are here. We are in the swamps of uh, Louisiana. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. 
Alright. Alright, we are approaching it. It's. I'm assuming it's right there. And you can go up here. They made me select the rookie first. That's odd. Not that that doesn't happen, it's just why would you make me select her first? She's the one that needs to be protected, mostly. She actually has a very serviceable amount of health thanks to that uh, nanofiber vest. And that carapace armor, I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to make a lot of sets of carapace armor once we actually research that so we can have all of our soldiers be better protected. We cannot have many soldiers dying because they're expensive to replace and... Eventually, if you let too many of them die, you're only going to have a lot of rookies when you're facing the toughest aliens in the game. It's one of the things about XCOM. XCOM, it can be very unforgiving when it comes to things like that. You can lose all your captains on a single mission. Which I suppose is how this Until I Fail playthrough will end. I'm just stuck with rookies on one of the hardest missions in the game. But we'll see. I don't know. Oh, there's a bat. Not a bat, a hawk or whatever. No, that wasn't a hawk going to assume it was a vulture and leave it at that because I'm not good with biology or identifying any animal. This is a sniper? Okay. And yeah, we're coming up on the ship. You go up here. Yeah, so I think um, we're finding a groove with these videos. Uh, normally I do two or one and a half missions per game depending on if I had to stop at the end of one episode prior. Uh... I think uh, two missions per episode is a good way to go. I, I don't think that I'll end up uh, actually completing this game because there is the thing about XCOM is it has such a it has such a hard difficulty curve. Like you can be mastering it and thinking you're so fantastic at it. Like right now we haven't had any difficulties with XCOM at all. We're actually doing fairly well. But when we start meeting some of the tougher aliens, that's going to change. We're going to have a lot of difficulty taking down those big guys. Um, and when that ha when that day comes, we're going to have to, if we haven't properly researched everything that we need to research, hmm, this is why I don't like bringing snipers along. Did I bring two snipers along? Because I feel like I'm selecting more than one sniper. I don't know. Um, yeah, the difficulty curve in XCOM is so great that you, even if you think you're doing so well at one point, when you meet a brand new alien, it could literally destroy all the progress you're making because of how tough they are. You have to have, you have to stay, I think armor is probably the most significant thing that you have to keep in mind. You have to be very, um, you have to be really ahead of the game when you're researching armor. Oh, there's an outsider. We haven't faced many of these guys. I think we've only faced one so far, and it was on the actual, the, uh, the last, um, UFO mission we did. Oh, that was dashing crap. I did not mean for that to be dashing. Site, to say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material oh, my. The machine begins. New guys. Beauty contest, that's for sure. Eh, Overwatch. Can you take that shot? What about headshot? Let's take that risk. Those, I forget what those are called. They're called, maybe they're called grunts? I forget. Can, is it going to hit? Nope. Oh, it hit. Wow. That was great. I didn't think it was going to hit. Um, what was I on about? Right. So, uh, so the difficulty curve at XCOM is so great that if you're not completely a head-on, especially armor, you're going to be terrible at the game when five missions go, you were doing great. It's unfortunate and makes XCOM one of the more difficult strategy games in recent memory. I, I'm terrible at all strategy games, so I don't really know how that affects me. Uh, yeah, XCOM is really different like that, and XCOM can get very difficult very fast, which is why it's um, why the title of these games, of these videos, aren't actually just um, commentary playthrough. They're, um... They're until I fail, because I know by around episode 10 or so, I'm going to fail miserably. Is it going to be hit? Nope. Still up. Sadly, no. Did we give anybody an arc thrower? I think we gave our... Uh, yeah, we gave our assault people an arc thrower. Okay, that's... Oh, Thin Men. It's good to keep in mind that, uh... That the, um, I th I'm gonna call them grunts for now because I don't remember the name. 
the, the things that are flying jetpack that are flying on jetpacks. I think they're called grunts. Um, it's good to note that they can basically go anywhere in the map. They don't. Whoa! How are we being flanked? Who's flanking us? Oh right, the grunt. All right, can I take you out? All right, Wagner, you're going to have to prove yourself. I'm going to move you here and have you shrek this guy. 100% chance to hit, and you did. Nice. Floater, that's what they're called. They're called floaters. Simple enough. Okay, I want you... Is there any place I can get him to where he can hit the outsider? Maybe here? Can I? Not with the sniper rifle, right. That's so stupid. Uh, I'm pretty sure when they hit, them, when they reach um, sergeant rank, they can uh, they can hit them all they want. Like you can hit while still you can you can shoot your sniper after you already move. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Should we take that shot? Overwatch, just in case. And yeah, you have the arc thrower. Should we try to go for an arc thrower takedown? I'm going to keep moving up and I'm going to set her to overwatch until we, if the outsider doesn't move, I'm going to have her try to take him in. Because we can interrogate any alien species we take in. We take it in a sectoid and I think that's about it. I am never going to trust these rocket launchers again after what happened last episode. That was fantastic. <laughs> XCOM, even though it can be really hard, can be hilarious sometimes and... That's, that's one of the reasons why I really like it. Um, there's a lot of uh, tongue-in-cheek humor here. A lot of subtle humor, too. And let's take a shot. Why not? I thought I'd miss. Oh, well. Oh! I forgot he was there. My bad. Okay, please miss, please miss. Or, or get a direct hit. That works, too. Reaction shot. Oh, come on. I know Overwatch limits uh, limits their ability to aim, but still, come on. These are the most elite soldiers in the world. Alright, we gotta get rid of you. You are going to be an issue. And we are completely out of tissues. Did I just say that? I think I did. You! I don't trust that shot. What I do know is we have to get behind some more cover. And like before, we can't fire the sniper rifle, so let's reload. Rock and roll. What can you shoot at? That guy. Okay. No, I don't want you shooting at him. How about you advance to this tree? And can you hit the floater? 56% chance. I'll take that shot. It hit, but it didn't kill it. All right. We're going to need to do some research into some new weapon types because these aren't doing the job at all. Can you reach there yet? Nope. You can't go right there though and you need... We need to keep her safe. She's... Oh, Jesus. She's very low on ammo or very low on health. Let's move her behind this log. I didn't realize how little health she had left. If she takes one more hit, she's dead. Let's, uh, let's hit Overwatch on this guy because it's highly unlikely he actually hits. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, you're going to go for a shot. All right, and you don't destroy our cover or hit us. That's good. You have a health pack. You don't. This is embarrassing. Uh... All right, we're going to move these two units here, these two girls, up in unison. Unison, that was a voice crack. Uh, I don't really want to take the shot. I want to try and capture this guy. I know. I think outsiders are a little bit harder to capture than the other ones, but still, I, I want to try. All right, let's try to get a headshot on this guy. Come on, please. Hey. Adjusting sights. That was a hit from my perspective, at least. Ooh. Uh, can I heal you? I can. Brilliant. That's what we needed. Heal her up. Man up and get back out there. There we go. There we go. We're safe now. 
her running gun ability, I, I don't think, um, works with stun. So we're just going to have you dash up there. And overwatch. We're basing the idea of capturing him, on, capturing him on if he moves or not. If he does move, then these two, or these three, will take him out completely. Hmm, let's have him move up just a bit. He's our toughest guy, so that's not safe cover, no. He's our toughest guy right now. This guy that I'm using right now. And this outsider, if he moves... If he moves, he'll get taken out. We're basing it on if he doesn't move. Right. What are you going to do? Nothing? What are you going to do? You're going... Oh. Ugh! I do not like that. Okay, you're going to run here and get healed. And you are going to run up here. And take this guy down. Come on, hit. Say good night. Excellent work. Yes! You begin analyzing this new artifact as soon as you return. Outsider's been captured. Perfect. That's what we were trying to do. She's safe, I think. We're going to have him dash into the ship. All right, we've captured an outsider. This is great. Outsiders are outsiders have always been my favorite aliens because of how unique they are. You don't really you know a lot about the thin man, you know a lot about the sectoids, but you don't know a lot about the outsider and I like that. You need to be healed, right? All right, you there. No, don't go into Overwatch. Go into heal mode. There you go. Man up and get back out. Okay, she should be able to take a hit now if she needs to. Let's have we still have to take out this guy over here. Hopefully our sniper will be able to hit him. Then I know there are two thin men over here that we're going to have to take care of. Alright, come on. Take this shot and... Oh, yes. It's going to be a hit. Perfect. There we go. Now I think we only have to deal with those two thin men now. There's one. Where's the other one, though? Why didn't it run in here? What? Oh, crap. Poison wears off after about four, I think. Don't shoot another poison dart, please. No. Or do. And be a, be a dick. All right, then. Uh, hmm. We're going to have you go up here. Can you hit one of the aliens? No? All right, then. I didn't realize how powerful um, and how accurate the uh, thin men's thin men's poison is. I thought they were prone to miss that actually quite a bit. All right, we need to really be careful here. We need to get those guys out of that uh, out of the green smoke. It's really just these two thin men, though. Um, we we pretty much won this mission. Is that outside the smoke? Run and gun, right, we can do that. Alright, we're going to have you run and gun here. Oh, get over it! And wrecked. And now we have to worry about this smoke. This is annoying. And I am not shooting that rocket as convenient as that would be. Uh, it would probably end up killing our own soldier, so no thank you. Let's take the chance. Of course, it misses as we thought. What is he going to do this time? Oh, that's what he's going to do. Oh, luckily, this game made no sense and decided that a direct hit would not actually be a hit. And we should be able to take this guy down completely now, and our two soldiers that are poisoned will do just fine. Assuming this is the last alien left. I think it is. Headshot. That was a beautiful headshot. Another day, another successful operation. Operation Soaring Fear is a success. We lost no operatives, which is great considering what happened last episode. And five aliens killed. This is great. On the way back home. Another successful mission. And... 
Touchdown. Perfect. Ooh. Is that all that's left of the specimen we attempted to capture? Yes. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What is it, Doctor? We're not exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized, and it appears to resonate very faintly within a specific electromagnetic spectrum. It is currently unclear how or... Perhaps that's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. If what you're saying is true, this object is an antenna. One that's receiving a signal. That signal? Huh. Can we trace it? No. At least not yet. We would first need to determine its encryption algorithm. My team can handle that. In that case, I will focus on constructing an interface between this object and our global communications array, which we'll need to trace the signal. Then it looks like researching this crystal should be our top priority. Okay. All right, so... Ooh. Our rookie, who has been promoted, um, is gravely injured. 18 days. That's tough. And Corporal Suleiman has been promoted to a sergeant. That's great. And so uh, Squatty Ferguson has been promoted to a corporal. That's also great. Ha! Ah, 18 days. Hmm. Oh, well. All right, you're going to get upgraded to... Lightning reflexes forces the first reaction shot against this unit each turn to miss. Ooh, ooh that's great. Close and personal confers plus 30% critical chance against adjacent targets. This, the bonus declines with distance from the target. Hmm. I think that uh, lightning reflexes would probably be more convenient because if we're dashing in a, in a into a room full of aliens and we're going to be using a pack of assaults, yes, that's definitely beneficial, and I think I'll actually do that for a lot of them. Actually, no, that wouldn't work. And we don't have to think about that. And snipers. Hmm. Remove this. Removes this sniper rifle's restriction on firing and over. Oh, absolutely. I know that we're going to take a big aim penalty, but that's absolutely necessary. That's what I was talking about. You suffer a bit of an aim penalty, and she became a. Uh, she became heavy. Yeah, you suffer a bit of an aim penalty, but being able to shoot after you move is just necessary. Okay, so new research available. Light plasma rifle. That's great. Floater autopsy. We've recovered a, a, uh, a light plasma rifle. Two floater corpses, two thin men corpses, eight Illyrium, 47 alien alloys, eight weapon fragments, two UFO flight computers, a UFO power source, and an outsider shard. Okay... Let's see what we can do. Where'd we what that what was that foundry for again? Commander, we've suffered okay, a number of casualties and haven't found suitable replacements yet. We need to start hiring additional soldiers through the barracks. Okay, well, yeah, let's let's go ahead and hire a few. That would probably be a good idea. Yeah, we have three injured guys, one's gonna be out for 18, 18 days. Let's recruit five. Get five new rookies in here. Office training school, we can't, can we get, um, uh, what's wet work? 25% experience gained from skills, soldier healed twice as fast from wounds taken in combat. We're definitely going to want that. When do we get squad size two? We just need to get a captain, right, we've looked at that already. Purchase, absolutely, that's definitely worth it. Now our soldiers will recover. Let's view the memorial and, uh, and remember who we lost. Oh, Giordano. You died so recently and so soon. Four kills and four missions, that's great. Uh, what else? Ahmed Farouk, I remember Farouk. He got three kills and was on four missions. And then all three of these, um, three of these, Operation Devil's Moon, I believe that was the very first, uh, that was the very first tutorial mission, actually, that we did. And Sasha Hangana. I don't remember, um, I don't remember her, or him, hmm, okay, well, yeah, let, we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a look there and see what's going on there ever so frequently. Where's the foundry? Where did I choose to build the foundry? The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad.
glad to have more help down here. Oh, the foundry's still being built. My bad. Uh, we have an access lift, so we can access more areas. Okay, I kind of want to build something. Can we, should we build a power generator? Huh. Okay, so let's go back to that map. I think if we, um... I think if we just build a long... Oh, never mind. We have a spot right here. If we just build a long string of power generators here, we'll, we'll be able to generate a lot of power. And I'm pretty sure this steam vent right here will give us more power if we build a steam generator. If the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. Hmm. I wonder what. A satellite. Yeah, let's build a satellite. Can we do that? Commander. Our current satellite uplink oh. facilities are at full capacity. Hmm. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. The yeah, I see, that's what you, we should I don't build. want to see. That twisted hulk of flesh and metal, driven by the alien technology. Can we still call that life? We have to keep moving forward with the project, but the thought of treading the same path as the aliens is troubling. What if they were like us once? Are we just part of a continuing cycle? If this is a glimpse of our future, I want no part of it. Dr. Shen getting all philosophical up in here. But sadly, philosophy is not what I want on my YouTube channel. Alright, what why can't we build a satellite up lane? Not enough engineers. Okay, we're gonna need two more engineers. Isn't there um What am I a black market, I think the, Yep, the gray market, that's what it's called. Several members of the Council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. Okay, yeah, um, whenever we get damaged resources from, uh, from any, um, landing that we've done, from any UFO crash site we've gone to, most of the tech is actually useless. So, we can sell it for a little bit of money. We just got $140 there for selling useless equipment. We really need to get to work on lowering the panic in Canada and South Africa, too. But for now, we've done, um, we've done pretty much everything I want to do, so let's scan for new activity. Okay, assign new research. We have five new soldiers, too. Carapace armor available. Okay, carapace armor is like the, um, I think it's like the, uh, the vest or something. Interrogate sectoid, yes, that's what I was going to do originally. It's taken a little while for me to get to that. He is scared. Okay, soon the sectoid will be out and we'll know what we need to know from them. The foundry will be built soon, and... Oh! New foundry! That was a wonky character animation. Foundry construction com complete. There we go. The foundry. First time in the foundry? It's not the prettiest. But some of our more interesting projects will certainly benefit from the adjustments made down here. Okay, that is awesome. A heavy weapons platform. Basically, the heavy weapons platform is, uh, from what I'm reading here, it's basically a big unit, like a big um, war, like, war package, we'll call it that. It's basically a big war package that we can send into the battlefield in place of a soldier so we don't have to worry about that soldier dying. So if we send out like a team of three uh, shivs as they're called, shiv units, three shivs, two like captains and then a rookie, that rookie will be leveling up a lot and we'll, we'll be able to send three, uh, three robots basically up to the front instead of soldiers. Yes, begin that project, absolutely. That's fantastic. We can also improve the pistol, which I definitely want to do. Let's do that. And that's all the money I want to spend right now. Word to the foundry crews now. You can follow their progress remotely from the project cube in engineering. 
Okay, the next time we have any panic, um, panics, we're going to definitely want to focus on any that give us engineers, because we're needing engineers badly to build stuff. Anyways, let's scan for more activity. Sectoid's been interrogated. So, how'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able expired? to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned. Recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular How image did he appeared die? in the creature's thought patterns several times throughout the procedure. Oh. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were... And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first... Yeah, the phone. outsider. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head, too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. Oh. Well, we're, we're ahead of the game, then. We've already done that. All right, perfect. It's just the fact that that carapace armor took so long to research that um, the story is actually kind of behind, while we, in gameplay, are ahead. Okay, um, the sectoid has been interrogated successfully, and we've earned um, credits for beam weapons. Outsider shard, let's research that. We need to do that right now. Eh, review research credits. What does this mean? What? I don't know what that means, but I, I, I assume it's a good thing. Uh, yeah. Okay. In Since times of war, there's always a leader, a general, someone giving the orders. These aliens can be no different. The real question is, what sort of power or authority does it take to control such a vast range of alien species? What incentive do they have to follow through with this plan? Okay, Shen, I appreciate the philosophy, but right now I'm kind of angry because we have eight engineers, but we need ten to build basically anything notable. Uh, which is fine, I suppose. Let me build two of these while we're here. Um, but I want to build that carapace armor. Really? Like, okay. Hopefully we do get a panic notice soon and we'll be able to get some engineers. Request from Nigeria, weapon fragments. Um, they want nine weapon fra- yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Fifty-six dollars for that? Yes. Hey, achievement! Happy to oblige. That's great. I'll check that soon. Okay! View abduction sites. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked oh, in. Oh, no. We have attacks in, um, Nigeria. And Mexico. Oh. Yeah. Mexico and Nigeria. They're both difficult because the panic levels in those continents are highest. In Tokyo, there's a moderate difficulty one because the panic levels are low. However, the two ones, the two um, abductions in North America and Africa both offer us very notable rewards. Four engineers or four scientists. If we don't accept the one in North America, the United States and Mexico will stay with us. But Canada's panic is going to rise to either four or five. If it rises to five, it might leave the uh, it might leave the the uh, council. If we don't take the one in Nigeria, South Africa's panic is going to go to four or five. I think I think it's South Africa, and they might leave the council. Oh, okay, I think. I think taking the one in Nigeria will be the smartest one, because we've been saying how much we need engineers. I just don't want to lose Canada. This is a tough one. Um, I don't, I don't think we'll lose Canada if we take this, and I don't think we'll lose South Africa though. It depends on how much the panic increases. All right, let's take Nigeria. 
my dog is barking, I think. Can you hear that? I'll have to go over the audio and see if you can hear that. Okay. We need our toughest soldiers. So, no, uh, no, what's it called? I forget. No, no, re no recruits. Okay. We have Vargas, who's back in action after an injury. We have Suleiman, who's back in action. Ferguson, Kelly, and Andrews. Uh, two heavies, one support, one sniper, and one assault. I like it. Let's go. This is going to be our toughest challenge yet. And I am ready for it, I hope. All the way to Nigeria. Let's do this. Touching down. Megan Assault. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay, so Operation Crystal Skull in Nigeria. That does not look like Nigeria. Maybe that's how it looks on, uh... Maybe that's how it looks in the cities. And... Touchdown. What was that? What was that? That was like spontaneous disco music. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Okay, here we are. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Uh, it's this. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I thought that was like um. There's an upgraded version of the uh, of the what's it called of the I forget not the I forget um of the uh, floater. There's an upgraded version of the floater that has more health. I thought we were actually being introduced to that one right now. You, take the shot. Please hit. Oh, it's going to hit. Beautiful. Great way to start off this mission. <laughs> that other floater is probably terrified now. I don't have any sight. Okay, Overwatch. Alright, run and gun your way. Going in for the kill. All the way over here. That was a voice crack. All the way over here. And take that shot. You did. That was easy. For a mission labeled as difficult, we just wrecked those guys. Do I want to dash you up there? How much health do you have, Tom Andrews? You have nine health, so let's have you, um, we're going to try and go through this building right here so we can have an ample amount of cover. However, I want our toughest guy to dash behind this car. Welcome back to the crew, Vargas. It's, it's good to have you back. Okay, two sectoids. Two disgusting little sectoids. One's climbing to the roof. That's new. I haven't seen them do that yet. I know we can, but I didn't realize they could. That's going to make it easier for them to shoot us. Okay. Ferguson. I want you to dash to this door. Spontaneous disco music inside this door. I know I'm breaking my own cardinal rule by sending her there. Actually, not her, him. His name is John. He is a guy. Ash up there. Yeah, I don't want to put two people behind, uh, behind a guard at once. And have you dash into that room so we can get that door open. And what can you do? How about you... Mm, this is a weird situation to be in. There's only one way through this building. Let's have you dash here. I'm gonna take a risk with this rocket to try and hit this alien up here. Because if it misses, I don't think it'll uh, be a problem then. I wanna hit... I wanna hit... Shot is blocked. How is shot blocked? Come on. Come <laughs> Camera, come on! You got this! Or it doesn't. That, that's cool, too. Okay. Please hit. Or don't. That works, too. 
My camera was so wonky there. Let's try it again. Beautiful. Take took off the guy on the roof very quickly. And what are you gonna do? Oh, floaters! More floaters. To our flank. And we're going to need to handle those floaters. I'm going to send these two out this way to try and catch up with that sectoid. Or not. Um, Overwatch. Yes, we hear them. I know where they are. Are we alone in the universe? No, we're not. We're being attacked by what's el what else is out there. Hello there. You are the ugliest aliens. We, we realize this. Please hit. Miss. Okay. It's quite harsh. Please hit. Brutal. The game makes it look like it's a direct hit, but then it actually isn't a direct hit, and I get sad. We cannot catch a break right now. That's three missed shots in a row on the same alien. Maybe Vargas will change things up, because Vargas is a total badass. Yep, he did. Always trust Vargas. You don't mess with humanity now. Alright, we gotta go in that library, it looks like. I'm gonna have you dash up here, though, try to get a view on... None? Really? Did they go in here? Hmm. What to do? Alright, you're going to advance up here. Got something over here. Oh, they all decided to regroup in there. Okay, that's what I thought. And sadly, there's... I have an idea. But first, let's get all of the soldiers out of the way. Okay! We're going to break the wall down. Now, I, I do not trust rockets at all. But since we're not aiming for anything in particular, fire. Now we have clear sight of all the aliens without having to move. Funny how that works, right? I doubt anybody would actually recommend for me to ever do that, but there we go. It worked for us. Okay, he retreated like, like a... They probably are all going to retreat, actually. He's on the second story now. Okay. What are you two going to do, though? Going to take a shot? Okay. And miss. You just give us a clear line of sight on you. All right. And... Is that... Oh, that's going to hit. Do three damage. All right. No big deal. We're all good here. Let's go through this door. What's it? Right click? Yeah, right click. Or just stand there. <laughs> that looked like a right click symbol, but maybe it isn't. I'm not sure. Is it gonna hit? Yep, he's dead. Alright, let's have you go through here. Oh, do you have the range to go through there? Oh, right, the door is blocked now. Come on. We want to go to the roof. No, we don't. We want to get inside the building. Well, that was annoying. Uh, not good for recording. Please hit. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. He's down. We just have, I think, one alien left. For a mission labeled difficult, this was actually not that hard. Uh, that's good for us. Unless there's more aliens left, I'm not sure that they are. Oh, I thought you went to the second story, if there was a second story. Well, we're just gonna follow you, guy. I mean, 
Come on. Yeah, we're... Get wrecked. And... He's dead. Is that it? Nope. There's more. I thought that, I thought that might have actually been it, but... Shut up. I guess not. Oh well. We've been doing well so far, but... That could change at a moment's notice, especially if they introduce a new alien on us. Those happen quite randomly, actually. There are certain points in the game where they're, um, where they're supposed to be introduced at a certain time, but then sometimes they just introduce certain aliens completely randomly. Whoa, 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 whoops! I did not mean to move her. I thought we were, um, we were moving for this guy. I guess not. Whoops, my bad. I did not mean to move you there. I meant to move you through that door. There's always a period of a video for XCOM where I'm just making these really stupid movement decisions. Which is okay, I mean... Yeah, it's fine. No big deal, I suppose. From where it looks like that's those sound waves were coming from, they should be either out here... ...or in here. My vote is that they're somewhere in here in this dark area. Hmm... Okay, you dash there... Alien activity. The great thing about having an Alienware, which is I have an Alienware laptop that I record and play on, is that um, whenever it says Alien activity, my keyboard lights up red, and whenever I'm playing as the XCOM soldiers, my keyboard lights up as blue, and that's really awesome. First time I ever played XCOM on the uh, on the PC, it was so epic. You hear that? It was, it was epic because it would change colors according to what was going on, and that was so mind-boggling to me. I had never seen that before. To, to an experienced PC player who rocks out on Alienware all the time. Come on. But uh, for me, it was just awesome. And I think I'm actually going to probably stick with Alienware. They've been really reliable, except when they're running on Windows. Oh! Windows 8. Uh, please don't hit. Thank you, I appreciate that. You just ruined that flat screen, though. Um, we have found one sectoid. Is he going to be the only sectoid? And that's okay, we've been getting a lot of uh, lucky shots, so it's okay that we missed that. Alright, I don't want to dash in there, because the, then the sectoid can move and get an easy shot on us. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to try to do that. No, you're going to go into Overwatch. Alright, you just made my job a lot easier. Bust open the door, possibly. And can, I can't take that shot. Oh, I can. Perfect. Miss. Okay. No big deal. Shot wide. I thought I could take that shot. I wasn't sure why it was telling me I couldn't. What can you do? Kelly, I'm going to have you go around with the... Uh, with Suleiman? I'm not sure who that is. Yeah, Suleiman. These soldiers are like my lifeblood right now, and I'm not remembering their name. Let's run and gun this guy. Lightning reflexes, you miss. And uh, get wrecked. There we go. Operation Crystal Skull was a massive success. That was fantastic. We did really great there. It, our, for, for our first difficult mission, that was fairly easy. Wow. I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, success. Eight aliens killed and no operatives lost. I was almost certain that was going to go downhill really fast. Huh. Well then, that's good news. It's good that we, it's good that we actually have some good news in this playthrough for once. Okay, there we go. And touchdown. Perfect. A very Thanks successful mission. Performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. Yeah, it went well. And they all realize it went well, actually. That's awesome, because we have no injuries, even. And our sergeant got upgraded to a lieutenant. This is awesome. Our One of our squaddies got upgraded to a corporal. That's a very successful mission, indeed. 
Okay, so let's see what we can get. You're a lieutenant now. We have revive. Allows medikits to revive critically wounded soldiers at 33% of maximum health. Instead of just stabilizing them. Rifle suppression. Fire a barrage that pins down a target, granting reaction fire against it. And imposing a 30 penalty to aim. Hmm. I think we're going to probably want to um, switch these abilities up. And right now, revive is probably the most notable thing. Because it... With, when a soldier gets critically injured, we haven't had that happen yet, but when he gets critically injured, if you revive him, he's going to suffer a loss in will, and basically what will is, is it's what, um, it's what keeps the soldier in the fight and keeps him from going crazy. Um, soldiers will occasionally get crazed, like we've seen before in this playthrough, and start shooting at anything and everything, including their, um, friendlies. And when, um, when a soldier gets critically wounded, will permanently drops. And that's not, that was a voice crack, and that's not good. Because then we can never rec recover them. If they if they meet a new alien or a soldier dies, that means they'll go crazy. Possibly. So, uh, yeah, revive. And having a stronger soldier revived after critically wounded is necessary. So, there we go, we're picking revive. And we have Squatty Andrews upgraded. That's fantastic. Promoted. Bullet swarm firing, the primary. Uh... Okay, we're going to pick hollow targeting because that seems like it's going to be big when we face the um, big, uh, the bigger aliens. Okay, we got four sectoid corpse, four, four floater corpse, and 16 weapon fragments. New facility. <coughs> what was that? Excuse me. New facility available. Workshop. Each workshop adds five engineers to our staff. Adjacency bonus plus seven percent. Refund on resources used when building vehicles, foundry projects, and facilities. All right. All right, we got our four engineers. Panic in Nigeria has decreased by one. Panic in has decreased. Panic has increased, increased across North America. Panic has increased across Asia. Across Asia. Remember, we will be watching. Let's go to the situation room. Doctor Valen's interrogation oh, technique my. certainly is efficient. You'd never know it by looking at her, but that woman is an alien's worst nightmare. This is not good. Both Canada and Mexico are at four, and South Africa's didn't even go down. I thought it affected the entire continent. Whoops. Oh well, it's the best we could have done. It's the best in the situation that we were presented, I suppose. And we got our four, um, uh, our four engineers. So I'm going to go over to the workshop. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Yeah, we are going to build, um. Several carapace armors here. Yeah, five. Ooh, that's how necessary this is. It's not like a, an, an undervest like the light armor is. This is a full-fledged new set of armor, I think. There's a lot of different armor variants, and we'll be unlocking some of them. We'll be unlocking some of them soon. But for now, this is the way to go. Loadout. Body armor. You get that carapace armor this and you rock it. armor was developed using what we've learned from the alloys employed in the alien ship. It should prove to be both lighter and stronger than anything we've used in the past. Fantastic. It's going to protect our guys a lot better than the uh, last basic armor did. And especially for those wearing the light vest armor underneath. Obviously we're going to give it to our two lieutenants because we don't want to lose them at all. There we go. And we'll just keep equipping them. Suleiman, you've earned your right to wear this. Yeah. Plus four health. Bonus total with these things. Snipers tend to not get hit a lot, so how about we equip it to Andrews? Uh, and let's save a carapace armor for whatever um, uh, whatever rookie we ever want to start upgrading because rookies need it the most. We might give it to Martha Wagner too, who's recovering right now. Alright, so yeah, I think that's going to be a good stopping point for this episode. Today was a really successful day of XCOM. That was really well, that really went well. We had, a, we had a great UFO crash site mission where we got to get the outsider fragment before the game actually asked us to. We were ahead of schedule there. And we had a really successful difficult um, abduction mission, which is really encouraging for our progress. Um, I think within the next few episodes, though, XCOM is going to really start getting difficult, like I thought it would be. And uh, that's when uh, my patience is going to be tested with the until I fail aspect of this playthrough. Um, 
I think I should explain that now. Until I fail basically means there's going to be a certain point in this game where I have not done something previously in the game, like research the right stuff, or have strong enough soldiers that are all upgraded to the level that I need them to be. Basically, there's going to come a time when the aliens are just so powerful and I'm so, like, I'm not, I'm just not prepared to face them, and I won't be able to progress any further. That's going to happen eventually. However, today was a great victory. I'm very happy with the results that we're having. And, yeah, thank you so much for sitting through this, and, uh, if you're good at XCOM, maybe you were yelling at me, Why are you doing that? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, um... But I'm having a lot of fun playing XCOM for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like rating and subscribe for more XCOM videos to come. And once again, I can't thank you enough for your continued love and support for my channel. This has been Nick from Final Cut Gaming, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.